Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey, sipping something, bumping. Officially homecoming, aka G Ho. Um, and I'm kind of like whispering, kind of not. Baby is asleep in that room, so I am about to do a trial haul for all of my looks for homecoming. I'm not gonna be wearing my hair like this, like it's gonna be this color, but the style is gonna be different. So at the end, I may like incorporate when I actually wear them, or y'all will see them in the vlog. So don't even worry. But I have some fits here from Blushmark and Sheen. So I'm gonna try these on for y'all and yeah. So these are my fits y'all. Um, that's a black one piece. That is a costume that I have to review for them. Um, that's a dress, some jewelry, shoes. These are the Sheen pieces. That's all Blushmark. That is a sweatsuit. That is some green cargo pants with a corset top. And then this is a all black fit. So that little like skirt thing that's been going viral, but they're actually shorts, but looks like a skirt in the front. That's that right there. That's like this fitted black tee and a bag to go with it. And I'm gonna wear it with those Rick Owen dupes. This is my like little setup. I have my ring light here, full body mirror there. It actually looks really tall. Um, yeah. So this is my setup. Um, yeah, let's get to it. to the tailgate earlier as you guys seen and we're going out tonight um i have to do my makeup and do my hair i just took a shower and i got dressed i'm gonna show you my fit and everything a little bit later i promise but um i'm also hosting a pregame so like everybody's about to be on their way to my house so i'm really trying to hurry up but i wanted to check in with y'all so y'all can know i was gonna at least vlog a little bit because yeah i also checked in with my baby he's doing really good so um i do miss him though um but i'll see him in a couple of days i'm trying to enjoy my break but i've been facetiming him getting pictures and all that good stuff so when checking with y'all let me show you my fit so this is the fit y'all this is a shirt silver accessories y'all know silver is my jam okay um, i'm glad i got some boobies now because these hands is actually holding something up um these little skirt shorts whatever I've been wanting um, this for the longest because Jada Weta definitely put me on. Um, tattoo showing, hello. Booty is booty, okay. And then I just have the Rick Doofies on. So I'm gonna give y'all a better review though um, in this next clip.
this is gonna be like a little moment in the vlog where it's transparent so yeah um i just want to say that like people should really be mindful of like what they say to people because i know like i don't usually let a lot of stuff get to me especially when it comes from people that i do not know but i was on live earlier on my instagram and somebody basically had commented like oh why are you outside you just had a baby da 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 and of course people are gonna have stuff to say regardless but that triggered me because one i'm already missing my baby because he's not with me and then two i deal with postpartum depression so like that just like set me off in a sense and i didn't like snap back at them or anything like that but it just like hurt my feelings so i like i was a little emotional like i did cry a little bit about it and then like i had talked to my mom and then my child's father his mom because we're like we're close and they were just basically telling me, and I talked to like some more of my friends too, but they were just telling me like not to worry about what people say and that they don't see a problem with me like being out for G home and stuff because you got to think I was in the house for nine months, like, you know, and I've still been in the house. So I've been in the house technically like 10 months and then I go out for one week, not even a whole week, but I go out for a couple of days during G home, which is an occasion. And it's my senior year of college. So it's just like, you know, I know I shouldn't feel bad because, like, I should still be able to have a life and stuff like that. And I'm still finding a balance. Like, I'm with my baby every day. And then, like, the one time I'm not with him, then it's, like, all these comments about, like, how I'm outside, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, like, but I've been in the house. And me going out doesn't make me any less of a mom or anything like that. I'm not harming myself, I'm not harming anybody I'm going out with, I'm not harming my baby, nothing by going out. So like, I really just don't understand. I just wanted to go out and have a good time. And that just made me feel bad for going out to have a good time. But anyways, enough of the sad stuff. I just had to get that in the vlog because very transparent moment. And it's just, this is gonna be a Geo vlog. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to a club tonight called EXO. Um, with my friends and everything, we have to be there around like 11, 11.30. It's currently like 10 o'clock. I don't even know if I sound horrible. In my head, I sound horrible. I don't know if I sound horrible, but if I do, whatever. Um, I took me a little nap. I ate. I'm about to take me a shower and I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to get dressed. So I'll talk to y'all when I'm leaving my house and then when I get to the club. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all, so this is my outfit. Um, I'm wearing this shirt that like ties in the front, opens, these little see-through pants. Um, this is my bag, silver accessories, and then the Ricky dupes. So yeah, I have to clean off my shoes because somebody got a, yeah, on there, but I'll show you how to clean them off. Make sure it don't spill it on me. Drive with her, hey. catch me in the whip, ride with her, hey. sipping something, bumping.